Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review, and I'm your host, the Web Gear Guy. I want to thank you for watching. Today I want to take a look at the third pattern of the OG 107 uh, utility shirt. Now, this third pattern come out in 1964. There are quite a few changes on it from the first and the second pattern. Let's take it around where you can see the back. Notice the pleats are gone from the second pattern. Notice that it has a uh, nicer looking seam than the second and third pattern. Notice it has the black and green um, um, tag on it instead of the, uh, the old one with the gold. This started in July of 1966 was when that was effective. So this shirt was made in 64. Actually, this particular shirt is dated 1967, but they come out with these in 64, okay? And uh, so anyway, this is 67. They started this in 66. Now let's look at the identifying features of the third pattern. In fact, this is the most common pattern. There was more of these made than, than the first and second pattern. So anyway, they went back to one, two, three, four, five, six buttons, okay? Uh, these buttons are kind of convex shaped, okay? The main identifying feature that should catch your eye is this V-shaped pocket and the V-shaped flap, okay? You got pencil, place to put pencils up here, okay? However, the pockets are sewn flat. There are no pleats in the pocket, okay? Uh, the next thing is, is that if you take a look, they added a button cuff to the sleeve here, okay? The first and second pattern did not have the bucket, the uh, button cuff, okay? Now, that's really about it. But that's how you can tell if you got a third pattern shirt between the first, second, and third pattern of the OG 107. Um, if you like this kind of content, I would ask you to subscribe to the channel. For those of you who have already took the time to subscribe to the channel, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I would like to uh, ask you guys to share this uh, information with your friends and, and whoever, whether you be reenactors or collectors. Hopefully the information can be helpful to somebody out there in YouTube land. Thanks for watching the Web Gear Review.